Hi, so my name is Rhonda Damasio, and I am the director of the Alice Paul Institute, and I've been here for close to 10 years. Um, just a show of hands, if this is everybody, if this is anyone's first time being at the Alice Paul Institute. Oh, wow. wow. Right. Great. Welcome to everyone who's come back for a second time or third time, but welcome to the new people. Good morning. It's wonderful to be back here again. Um, welcome to the power of positive confrontation. For the next 90 minutes, that's what we're going to talk about, conflict. Trust me, you're going to have a great time. We're also going to talk about your style and ways that you can choose to change your style. Confronting without the proper skills can be difficult. Take, for example, the woman in one of my seminars who said she didn't confront her friends, she just got new ones. <laughs> but assertive behavior is really the best of both passive and aggressive. Because what it is, is it says, I take into account your rights, feelings, thoughts, ideas, and I take into account my own. I understand your thoughts, feelings, ideas, and beliefs, and I understand my own. It's equality. It's the positive approach. Now, in terms of positive confrontation, what plain and powerful looks like, and I know a lot of you bought the book already, and you don't need to write it down. This is on page 51 of the book. <laughs> um, most people are not jerks who are out to get us. Many people become preoccupied and have no idea how their behavior affects others. And if you go into a conflict thinking this person's a jerk, you know how easy it is to slide into aggression? Because the jerk had it coming. Right? If you go in thinking maybe the person's a jerk, maybe not, let me find out, you're more apt to stay in the middle. <laughs> My words may be fine, but the pointing is sending another message. And if you, somebody's ever said to you, but you took it the wrong way, or but he took it the wrong way, chances are the nonverbals were sending a different message. It helped things. Um, you can sign up for my blog, Welcome to the New World. I blog weekly. I many times talk about conflict as well as other etiquette and communication issues. Listen to your voicemail messages. Learn your voice tone. That's really important in terms of wording. I mean, the words may say one thing, but the tone can say something else. Observe other people. What did they do that you liked? Start noticing verbal and nonverbal behavior. Um, evaluate yourself, watch your home movies, or if you give a presentation. What you do in a presentation usually, you often do in real life. Work to establish rapport with others. It's hard to be nasty to people who are nice to you. Not impossible, but it's hard to be nasty. Um, you can also follow my tweets. I tweet about communication, and there's a lot more in the book.